I'm Leslie Weed, and I have two daughters that attend Darlington. Haley, who is a senior, and Carly, who is a sophomore this year. We are from Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. We were so happy to find Darlington. We have a daughter that's 11 who is severely autistic, and life was getting pretty tough in our house. And my husband and I felt like these girls needed a respite. They needed to enjoy their high school years without the added stresses that, that they were having to live with at home. And as I was researching uh, the website, I realized they had the Learning Center my middle daughter uh, had some learning differences and was starting to struggle. So we got in the car and we came to Darlington. Immediately, all fell in love with it. The beauty of the campus, the serenity, it was icing on the cake when we started meeting all these wonderful people that greeted us. And it just really had a good feeling. And my mommy intuition told me immediately, this is the safe place that your daughters can come to, enjoy their high school years, have a fabulous experience, and be very happy. My girls are in separate dorms. They both have the most fabulous head of house. Marcus Holmes is the head of house in Thornwood, and he has done a spectacular job. And he's like a father figure to them, and their family lives in the dorm. It's fun to come in and see the kids running through. So it just really gives it a sense of family. They are well-watched, well-cared for. Any issue that arises is completely addressed immediately, and parents are told of the issues immediately. I really love having that contact and running things past him. If one of them wants to do something, I'll run it past him, and he'll give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. This particular relationship is like having a dad in the house, and he won't put up with the girl drama, and therefore there is none. If it is, it gets squashed out pretty fast. In Carly's dorm is Carolyn Blaylock, and she's fabulous. She always responds to text messages or emails within five minutes, and that's always comforting to know that if I have a question, I'm going to get an answer. They never feel like I'm asking too much. They immediately take care of whatever I need, and that is a great blessing to have here. The relationship between my daughters and I have always been very strong with boarding school. One thing I didn't realize was how much I would communicate with them and our communications. Guess what happened to me today? Guess what I'm doing today? And at home, when you're raising teenage girls, it tends to be tenseness in the air. And every day, something's lobbed at you that you have to say, no, you can't do that. But when they're at boarding school, it feels so good to go months without having a disagreement with your teenage child. I feel we're much closer, and I never expected that. But that is, that's a great dividend. One of the greatest gifts these girls will be taking away from being at Darlington is their management of time and their organizational skills. One of the greatest things I love about this school is from the time they wake up until the time they hit their head on the pillow, each hour means something, and something has to be accomplished. And what I mean by that is they get up... 6.30, 7 in the morning, they can go get breakfast. Then they go to their advisory group. Then they have coach class. They can go get help in any subject. And they have class till 3.30. And they have to have an after-school activity. Haley's in lacrosse now, and Carly is a cheerleader, and she plays soccer. And they have practice from 4 to 6. They're out there exercising, teamwork. They finish their dinner at 7. And then study hall is from 7.30 to 9.30, and everybody turns their phones off. It's quiet in the dorm, and those two hours are dedicated to getting your homework done. And the beauty of this school is the faculty all live on campus or nearby campus. So during study hall, they come through the dorms if anybody needs any extra help. So there is a support system all the way through their studying, 
And then if they're finished at 10 o'clock, they can go to bed or they can continue working on their homework. And when I don't hear from them between 7.30 and 9.30, I have this great feeling in my heart. They're studying, but their day is so structured and organized. That is probably one of the best gifts that they're going to take away with them when they go to college. They're going to be 100% prepared. This is Darlington Story number 18.